Hello everybody, uh, my name is Manny Singh. I'm the Cropping Systems Agronomist here at Michigan State University. Uh, we are out in the, in the field today looking at some of the winter wheat research we are doing. Uh, we shot a video uh, talking about our research looking at how we can improve seed placement in small grain crops like winter wheat. Uh, if you haven't uh, had a chance to look at that video, please visit our web page uh, uh, at MSU Extension or agronomy.msu.edu. Uh, what we are finding out in that research is that we are able to benefit from precision planting by going with the, a narrow row spacing. That's where we are seeing a yield benefit. And then we are getting added benefit by that improved uniformity of seed spacing in terms of seeding depth and uh, and seed uh, to seed spacing. So now we want to take that idea one step further and see if variety selection plays a role in developing that uniform ideal canopy that can maximize our light interception and resource use efficiency. So we are looking at, uh, at the variety selection component within that overall umbrella. And I have my graduate student, uh, Kelvin Canfield, uh, who is leading this project. Uh, and uh, he will talk more about what we are doing in field this year and uh, what are we finding out. All right, over to you, Cal. Thank you, Manny, for that introduction. As Manny said, with our previous research, we've seen that narrow rows uh, has a potential to increase yield and in wheat production in Michigan. And with that, we wanted to look at, is there a varietal response to this narrow row spacing? In this study right here, we have five different varieties and we selected these five varieties based on the leaf architecture, ranging from erect, real pointed leaves, down to droopy, where they're kind of just, they're more flopping and uh, laid out into, into the canopy. And then in addition to the five varieties, we wanted to know, is there a response to seeding rate? And we have seeding rates ranging from 400,000 plants per acre up to approximately 1.5 million plants per acre. So far with what we're, we're looking at is we want to know how does this canopy closure happen. Uh, we want to know light interception and kind of see how these varieties respond to the narrow row spacing as well as can we increase the seeding rate really high and get a, uh, a good yield benefit or do we want to stick somewhere in the middle because that's where we're seeing a, a, a peak to yield. When we're looking at seeding rate, the idea with these more erect uh, pointed leaf architectures is we might be able to fit more plants per acre into this narrow row spacing and that has the potential to maybe increase yield. There's been a lot of research in, prior research in corn where uh, with more erect what they call modern corn architecture they can put more plants per acre and that has proven to increase yield potential and that's where we're, why we're looking at this wheat. We don't know necessarily what's going to happen, what the response is, but we want to find what, what's going to be the best yield potential increase for Michigan growers. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you to Michigan Wheat Program, Michigan Crop Improvement Project Green, and for more information please go to agronomy.msu.edu or MSU Extension.